Um, and I wanted to address something that we get a lot of uh, requests for, and I haven't I've kind of been uh, remiss in, in, in going over it, and that is curved hilt sabers and the issues and kind of things about them. Um, now, the, uh, there are, of course, historical curved hilts, curved handled um, uh, sabers and swords and that kind of thing. Um, most of them are sabers and most of them are one-handed but uh i don't know any of, of any long curved handled uh sabers out there that weren't just kind of curiosities but so uh what is the difference between using a curved hilt and a straight hilt now the first thing that most people talk about is the angle at which it, it's at and if i <clears throat> just kind of hold it here like this if I'm holding it up by the minter, which is straight, right, I'm coming here a little closer, right, that's there, so I have this, this kind of thing going on with, with, with that amount of grip. If I go over this side, so you can see this there. Now, if I move it up into the curved part, you see now I've got a little bit more angle. Now, this, of course, is going to bring my blade down into a more straight on position like this and that's going to make make it easier to uh, kind of keep it straight forward um, <clears throat> now on one hand that would tech I guess sort of make it easier to thrust um, the problem is is that we don't do a whole lot of thrusting in the same way because these don't bend in the thrust so it's kind of dangerous okay um, now Holding it at the curve presents a little bit of a challenge because it does change the physics of how the, how the saber works. If I just have Ryan uh, kind of react here to me, when I'm coming in here, because of the different angle, it's a little bit it's a little bit slow. Now, if I hold it up at the choke point, it, it has a different kind of effect, right? Where I'm now very, you know, kind of fast and it slashes, okay? And the reason that is is because now this little thing is out of the way of my hand, my glove, my gauntlet, all of that, so that when I, when I react and it comes around, that little dangly bit is out of my way. And that's usually, I think, one of the biggest historical uses of the curved hill is just to keep the pommel out of the way of, uh, of the glove, sleeves, armor, that kind of thing. Now, if I'm holding it here, this would be like a kind of a French grip on a foil or a, or a, uh, a pistol grip for a competition, th that kind of thing. And so now, if I try to do this, you see, it kind of lags behind that, right? At least that's what it feels like, right? So I, I'm caught much more doing more of my moon guards here and trying to get in for the tiny little touches, right? <laughs> and keep him out at the end of, end of the table. I don't necessarily want him in very close. Now, because we're doing lightsabers, we could do something like this. If we start getting too close, I move my hand up to here, and now I can, right? I can start slashing to get a little bit more room, move back out to the curve, and use the tip control, okay? So basically, it kind of comes down to this. You're gonna have more slashing control when you have this hanging off, right? So you're gonna be able to kind of parry through, slash, 
uh, orbit around and, and turn it into another strike, that kind of thing, right? If you're holding it here on the curve, you're gonna have more tip control, right? But it's gonna be a little bit slower, a little bit more awkward on slashes and getting that blade moving because you're putting the, the, the point of balance a little bit further out from your hand and it's uh, got that curve. So when you move it here, you're putting a lot more effort, effort into the bottom two fingers here. So, all right. Now I can, of course, do that and allow him to carry and then use that strike there. But generally speaking, especially with a little pointed tip here on the Obi shooting blade, right, I don't necessarily want to go stay out of the enemy. So I'm just going to kind of stay out there like that. And that's where, where it becomes very comfortable kind of holding onto the curve. That is, if your saber has a curve in the right spot. If you're holding it above, you're gonna get a lot more motion and a lot easier kind of stuff like this. Using it two-handed, however, I have found to be incredibly awkward. And I do not like doing it at all, no matter how long the curve tilt is. Um, so there. So my personal uh, opinion is that curve tilts are, do have certain, you know, peculiarities with them. But I don't think they have an advantage one way or the other um, in what we do to make it, uh, you know, a game changer for most people. Um, I would definitely recommend trying one, see if you like it. Um, it's obviously a more popular kind of style that's kind of going around out there. Um, and, uh, but my, my advice to you is to try to keep them small. Um, the smaller, the better. They're, they work way better as a, as a one-handed weapon, either here like this or there like that, um, and all of that. Okay, so just a little overview of the uh, curve tilt. We'll probably do some more kind of stuff if I think of it. Um, if you have any questions or, or um, specifics that you wanted to know about the the, the curved hilt, um, please write them in the comments. We'll see if we can't get to them. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for helping me out today. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you for joining in. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Happy sabering.